I, I must greet him. Thank you so much for such an extraordinary performance. You know, your voice is so powerful, and you keep showing us that you savvy you sam. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. So Mama, get a few. I must greet this contestant specially. Like each and every one of the contestants in the top eight, they deserve special greeting because they are all doing so well. One thing I love about these top eight contestants right now is that we can see the growth. Like every week, each week that comes by, we see that they are trying to improve themselves because they know right now that CA, this show is not just about coming to sing you have to bring your a game to the game in order to um in order to make it to the next week so i love that these contestants are putting in their best nobody is saying okay well, nobody is relaxed basically but they are here to for competition they are here to show us to tell us that they know what they want so i'm very happy about all the top eight contestants i love the growth i'm seeing so far so today we have um the team for today's for this week is um this is me so basically they're supposed to do a song track of their life basically how their life have been and today we had yinka davies as the guest judge i don't know yinka's david of today i don't really understand i wasn't really there are some points I would vibe with her. There are some points I'm like, ah, Inka Davis, what's happening? Like, she was giving me double, double vibe, double, double vibe. The next thing you hear I have to complain about is the technical itches that we had on this show. Like, even annoyed me more when it had to do with David Opera because David Opera was the first person that um, performed. His performance was actually, um, how do I put it now, was actually distorted by the technical issues they had. <laughs> I could not really hear a David Opera's um, this thing um, song of rendition. I was actually thinking it was my device. I changed device. I was still the same thing. So I just knew okay, it's not my network. It's not my device. It's not. And so I went on Twitter and I realized that okay, people are also complaining about these technical issues. Well, I feel it's not really good. It's not a good one for a contestant because it can actually hinder the votes that he would get from viewers rather. So now let's go to the show for today. I don't know. I think I should just do. I should just do it according to whose performances I enjoy the most. Or, yes, I enjoy the most. The first person I will have to call is our Zadi. Zadok, our Zadi never fails his performance. Like, his um, performance today was exceptionally good. <laughs> I love when he invited a lady on stage and and he was just so good that he swept the lady off her feet and then she even f kind of lost her step as she was going down. Zadok has always been good. Every day, every week, he gives us um, a good performance. So that's Zadok for you. Congratulations to Zadok. He is my best performer for today. The next person that I would say is between Jordan and Progress. I don't really know who I would say will come second or who will come third. But Zad um, Jordan and Progress are killing it. Like, killing it, killing it. Like, they are killing it as well. Progress took us to church brought us back and to think that today is palm sunday so everything was just in line like progress did excellently well with his performance his performance was breathtaking i love that Even though he was the last person to be called out, I love that he had he had that control over himself. He was stable. He did not let that um, tension, he did not allow that tension affect his voice. He did not allow that tension affect his performance. Progress is good. Like, day in, day out, week in, week out, I always see progress growth. I always see the growth in progress. Although last week I wasn't feeling progress, but this week, 
trust me i think someone had to tell him progress you need to progress you need to progress so that's progress right then jordan killed it as well i like him i like everything i like the jordan of today i think jordan of today is quite different from the jordan i have seen before if you ask me like in previous i think today jordan's performance today was the best i've ever seen Then the next person I will say um, made it for me is um, that's I think this is number the fourth person, the fourth contestant. I also want to know in the comment section. Let me know your top three. So my top three for this week is our Zadi, Jordan, and Progress. So the fourth person I will say is our baby dragon, Ito Han. I see. I think at this point in time, I'll stop calling her baby dragon because this girl is fire. This lady is fire. Like she's fire. She's she call mama dragon or let us decide. Are we going to call her mama dragon or we should just call her dragon? Because it's on hand. Hey. It's on hand is a vibe. It's on hand sang I love you by Whitney Houston. And see itohan is just good itohan i completely agree with simi that this is her best performance so far on the show like her performance today was so so good she was right on point she was she was she was just good that's itohan itohan did a great job for me Then the next person is Faith. Faith, hmm, Faith made Simi cry. Like Faith made our judge cry. Basically, Faith sang one of Simi's song called Charlie, and um, Simi sang this song I think in 2014 after she lost her dad. Faith decided to sing the song because her father passed on last year. So while she was doing that writing show, I love that she did it well. Like you could relate or you can relate to the way she was singing and all of that. And it actually broke Simi down. Like Simi had Simi, Simi cried. The next person is between um Banty and Debbie. Before Banty and Debbie, I want to say that um David um operas the opera performance was also very okay. Just that that technical issue really affected my judgment about um David Opera. But I know David Opera is a good singer. I know he's a great performer and I just know that he's good. And he sang a song by I think um Timmy Dakolo. And singing the song at this point in time, where the nation is in chaos, where the nation is in one turmoil or the other one, so every day you just keep hearing one thing. So that song was was necessary for this point in time. And I love the way he infused the Yoruba dialect into the song and all of that. So congrats to David Opera. Then the last two, in no particular order for this last two, is Banty and Jonah. One thing I love about Banty right now is that I love the growth. I love her fashion sense right now. Like Banty is now giving us the babe vibe. Like Banty is now giving us the la babe, la babe, la baby la hot vibe right now. So I love Banty's personality. I love that confidence that i'm beginning to say in banty like banty is good then debbie is also good but i don't really know where to place debbie yet so debbie is just there her voice is good her performance was all right and all of that so what do you think about this show who do you think performed best who was your least performer for today's show let me know as well in the comment section then the judges let's talk about the judges before i even forget ochura was one of the orchestra that um sang or that backed up the contestants why they sang so congrats to ochura if you don't know ochura ochura was one of the contestants for nigerian idol but he got evicted the winner of nigerian idol 2021 last season um kingdom kingdom has actually released the song and although i've not heard it yet but please you all should go and support kingdom because i actually had a problem with when this new season came on i'm like okay what happened to the winner of last season 
what have people done so far do you people just bring this contestant just because you want to make money before i forget okay i think i'll talk about that later i just hope i don't forget so do you people just bring up contestants just because you want to make money and then you don't groom that contestant i was really worried about what's up with kingdom but i'm glad that he's dropping something he has dropped something already i'll check it out and i'll maybe i'll give people my review on the song next week then what i wanted to talk about is you see these ads these guys are doing see i am sick and tired of the ads the ads are now longer than the show like see i understand you're trying to make money i understand the organizers are trying to make money but i think it's getting really too much because these ads are just like a repetitive like there's nothing new about these ads the same thing it's not like they have different um storylines these ads are the same thing week in week out you just keep watching the same thing not just even the week in week out every five minutes we are watching the same thing so imagine that this show is for one hour 30 minutes they get to show us this particular advert almost like let's say 10 times on this show it doesn't make sense if you ask me like i think they should try and re-strategize and make it fun because it's no longer fun again when we keep seeing this ad so let me know what you think about today's show who are you supporting who are you rooting for who do you want to see in top five let me know in the comment section i'll see you all later your face shine your shoe shine your face shine and you guys are doing well <laughs> bye